What up, everybody? It's your boy Slim the Streamer back with another video. Smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, guys, and share the video. Yo, Big Meats is home. Big Meats, they call me Big Meat. Huh? Larry Hoover, whip and work. Hallelujah. Niggas ain't never said hallelujah in his life, but anyway, Big Meats. Well, he's technically not home, okay? He's in a halfway house. A lot of people reacted to this a couple of days ago. I've been at work. I couldn't get a time. I couldn't find time to do this video like I wanted to, to do a little video deep dive. But nevertheless, it's, I'm doing it today. Y'all be all right. Anyway, smash that like button and subscribe button, guys. It's your boy, Slim the Streamer. Now, Big Meech is in a halfway house. He's released from prison, and he is in a halfway house. The infamous co-founder of the black mafia crime enterprise is out from behind bars and now is he's finishing his sentence in a so uh in a conformer surrounding surroundings in florida I don't, okay uh the federal bureau of prisons tells tmz demetrius aka big meat Flemery was transported Tuesday from the FCI Coleman Low in Woodland to community confinement overseen by the BOP BOP Miami Residential Management Office. Y'all remember Big Meat, the, the living legend? Our sources say Big Meech is now serving his sentence in a halfway house. Big Meech was arrested in 2005 and in 2008. Eight. He was sentenced to 30 years in prison after being convicted on charges related to drug trafficking and money laundering. Earlier this year, a judge shortened his sentence by almost three years. Legend in the street. Now, a, a lot of people, a lot of, now you got a bunch of uppity niggas. <laughs> well, <laughs> well I, I, I hope, you know, I, I, I hope when Big Meech gets out, he don't come with that rah-rah-ish. I hope big, when Big Meech get out, you know, he, he changes his life. I hope, like, shut up. Shut up. Damn, the man just got really, first, first y'all say, well, he's been locked up for too long and this is uh, unjustified and, you know, he needs to be released and yada, yada, yada. But then when the man is released, you niggas, you up in the niggas talking about, well, you know, I, I hope he, you know, a lot, hey, uh, they're celebrating drug dealers. They're celebrating drug, this is, well, hey. <laughs> Oh, y'all know more about drug dealers than you know about the who was president back in in eighteen such and such. Like the presidents was good people. <laughs> like 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 that, that's what you know. That's what kills me with you uppity with, with some of you uppities. When I, and when I say uppity niggas, I'm not talking about just black people. That's right. I'm not talking about just black people. I'm talking about black, white, whoever. All right. A lot of y'all. Soon y'all heard Big Meech get out and y'all see people celebrating this man. Well, not really celebrating. They're not celebrating what he did, right? Well, I guess some are. But what they mainly celebrate is like, yo, this dude is finally released from prison. He's going to be uh, uh, reunited with his son, uh, united with his son, reunited with his son. He get a, a basically, you know, he's, when he's older now, he get a basically a fresh new, a fresh lease on life. He's not going to be in there too much longer, Right. And a lot of these people, man, they getting upset. They they getting up mad. They 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 pissed off talking about oh uh, oh oh big meats better not come with that rah rah stuff. He like hell. Uh, he no, he ain't like some of you hood niggas, some of you broke niggas sitting on the block at 50, 60 years old, still standing on street corners. He ain't like some of you niggas. Big meats got a name. Big meats could just be himself. And make millions of dollars. See, that's what you niggas mad about. That's what some of you niggas mad about. Some of you niggas still standing on the corner. Then did 30, 40 years and you still out there on the block. And you still hustling, doing the same old stuff. You ain't got no, you, you ain't got nothing that you got out of prison. But you mad at Big Meech because Big Meech, is, all he got to do is be Big Meech. And he's going to make millions. Interviews, podcasts, it don't matter where he go. He's going to get that bread. 
And not to mention his son acting, got bread, working with 50 Cent bread. Rappers going to hook him up bread. He's going to get that bread. And most of you, most of you hood niggas who out there standing on street corners out there on the block cold, letting the ash from the cold hit you in the words of Jay-Z from the ash from the cold mad. Because you 50, 60 years old and you, and you serve time, but you ain't on big meat level. That's what you're mad about. And some of you uppity niggas who, who ain't never did, some of you uppity niggas who ain't got a damn speeding ticket talking about, well, you know, I hope Big Meats, when he gets out, you know, he better not be on that rah-rah stuff. Oh, oh, uh, like, 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 like y'all perfect. F out of here, man. <laughs> F out of here. Now, I'm not condoning what Big Meats did. I'm not on here condoning what he did. I'm not saying what he did was right. No, Big Meech was a was a drug kingpin. You know, he was out there putting in work. He was stunting on y'all niggas. Oh, y'all love it when he was in Atlanta popping bottles. You know, y'all y'all niggas love when y'all he was out there popping bottles and going from city to city putting Atlanta on the map. Him and Jermaine, well, Jermaine Dupri also put Atlanta on the map. But Big Meech put Atlanta on the map in the strip club, popping bottles. Making it rain. He was the original making it rain. I make it rain. I make it rain. I make it rain on you hoes. Making it rain. Now, I don't, I don't, you know, I go to strip club. I ain't got nothing but, uh, <laughs> I ain't got nothing but $3 for these hoes. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> Here you go. Closing the wallet, and I'm, and I'm going home. All right? But anyway, that's just me. Anyway, yeah. So, oh, right, now, matter of fact, I got $4. My bad, y'all. I got $4. I forgot. There's an extra dollar on my desk. So I go to the strip club with four dollars. I find <laughs> I'ma find four strippers. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> Next. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. And and it depends on what type of day it is. You better hope I don't pull a 50 cent and reach back to get my money back. Anyway, back to the video. Yeah, some of you niggas is mad that Big Meach is home. Oh, you Hated Demetrius Flannery is home. Oh, you, some of you niggas out there on the block. Now, look, I will say this, y'all, in all seriousness, I will say this. Don't follow in his footsteps because the guy lost a good, what, 20 years off his life. He lost a good 20 years off his life. I'm pretty sure. With, with between within twenty years, he could have did something far, especially the way he was moving. He could have opened up an actual legit operation, a legit business, and would have made millions and millions of dollars and stayed out of prison. No matter how much money you made, no matter how much money you blew at a club, no matter how much you was popping bottles, when you get hit with that time, that's all you got is memories. You lost out on a good. Gang of years and no amount of money, no amount of stunt, no matter popping bottle, no matter flashing at the wrist, you know, like a old cash money video, bling bling, all up in the camera. No matter how much of that will never replace the time you lose it. Man, that time is precious. Time is valuable. No matter how much money you got, you ain't got that time, bro. When you lose that time, you get caught up for with a drug charge and they sent you up the river for 40, 50, 60 years. Man, ain't no and all you got is war stories when you get out. All you got is war stories when you go in. Now, in Big Meat situation, yeah, he's gonna make him a bunch of money. Legit. And that's what a lot of people are mad about. Oh, I've been wanting to do this video all week because I said I can't wait to go in on these goofy niggas who is pissed. Off at the fact that Big Meech is home. Oh, y'all hate it. Y'all man, y'all was giving me y'all was jealous of the life you was living. This nigga was popping bottles on your mama. Pouring Moet on your mama. Huh? You niggas, some of you niggas in high school, he was pouring Moet on your mama. Making it rain on your mama. Was happy as hell. He got sentenced. He got ganged. Now, of course, now the people that he was a drug dealer. Again. The people who were on that stuff, you know, it's no joke. I'm not making I'm not making light of, of the judge that he pushed against black people. I'm not. I'm not. Because he did commit genocide. He pushed illegal drugs on our people. He did. Alright? It is what it is. He did. And he paid his debt to society. He paid his debt. 
But damn, man, get a man a chance to get out and see what he going to say. Don't just automatically go in on the dude saying, oh, well, he better do this. I want to see this. I want to see that. It's like, yo, chill. But the brain up, oh, well, you know, y'all know more about drug dealers than you do presidents. I heard somebody say that. Like, y'all know some of the presidents we had were slave owners? Slave owners, they own slaves, so that make them right? Because they was in a higher office? Look at Donald Trump. <laughs> Prime example. He's an idiot. <laughs> Donald Trump is an idiot. If you vote for Donald Trump, you're an idiot. That's right, I said it. And I know some of that made y'all mad. Yeah. Now, I'm not no big Kamala Harris fan either. I see through the BS. But I'm going to vote for Kamala Harris because I... I don't want to look at Trump for four more years. I, I don't want to look. I, I'm tired. We already had Donald Trump. We don't need Donald Trump no more. Hey man, put him in a put him in the gold plate and send him packing. We don't we don't we don't we don't need that. We already dealt with him. We don't need that. I I'm we need something fresh and new. Anyway, let me get back to the video. My bad. But yeah. Oh yeah, Big Meach is home. <laughs> and people are hating. <laughs> People are mad. Now, do you got, and they're mad because they saying, well, people are out here celebrating Big Meats. They're a pissed off people. Uh, they say, oh, all these black people going around buying, uh, buying all these clothes and trying to, you know, Big Meats was a trendsetter, y'all. The man was a trendsetter. What you want the man to do? He was a trendsetter. The man was, you wanted, people wanted to be like this dude. People wanted to be like Big Meats. He was really, he was really put in that. You know, he was, he, people wanted to be like him. It is what it is, bruh. It is what it is. People wanted to be like Big Meech. That's what it was. That's what it was. They wanted to be like him, man. Simple and plain. You know? But let me know what you guys think about this, man. I honestly think this is hilarious. <laughs> um, that I'm, you know... I don't feel no way one way or another. Uh, never knew the dude. I was too young to even remember this. Well, I was, I was around high school area, but I still really didn't like really like this. Well, he got arrested back in 2005, so yeah, I was, I was still young. So, um, but let me know how you guys feel about uh, 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 um, uh, Big Meech being home, man. What you guys think? Are you mad? Are you happy? Do you do you feel like hey this dude was pumping drugs into the street f this dude or do you feel like hey man he did he did his time and let's see what he gonna do going forward that's all I'm saying I'm not I'm not I'm not on here celebrating him being released what I'm saying is give the man an opportunity to get out and give the man an opportunity to see what he do first. Don't just automatically just go in on this dude saying, oh, he's this, he's that. You know, he did that. Yes, he did. All right? But the man went to jail for it. He did his time. Ain't like, it wasn't like he was running around free, you know, telling everybody SMD or nothing like that. He did his time. He's in a halfway house. Let's see what happens next before we all collectively, some of us, just go in and hate. But it's your boy Slim the Streamer. Smack that like button, subscribe button, guys, and I will catch you guys in the next video, man. Peace.